Hey Luke here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. I'm going to show you how to tie one of the most versatile knots around. The Alpine Butterfly. The Alpine Butterfly Loop is a great knot for putting a secure loop in the middle of a rope. It's an alternative to the figure eight loop knot or the surgeon's loop. And one of the benefits of this is that it doesn't collapse under great pressure. It's a very secure, strong knot. Additionally, it's really easy to undo, which is always great when you're putting knots in valuable rope. The Alpine Butterfly Loop has a close cousin called the Alpine Butterfly Bend, which is for attaching two pieces of rope together. Its main advantage is that it's a lot easier to undo than like the fisherman's bend or the water knot. So I'm going to show you how to tie the Alpine Butterfly Loop, the Alpine Butterfly Bend. Additionally, the Alpine Butterfly Loop, there's three different methods for tying this knot. There's the twist method and there's two different versions of the hand method. Each one kind of has its pros and cons and some people find one method easier to learn than the other. So I'm going to show you all three methods and you can figure out which one works best for you. Additionally, I'm going to show you some great applications for this very versatile knot. You take a loop and you twist, twist, and then you fold the twist over and spread it apart and feed it through. And then dress it. There you go. Okay, so let me show you one more time, a little bit slower. Take this loop, twist, twist, then go ahead and flip it under, spread the loop apart, pull this part through, and that's it. And this is what it looks like. Should be nice, even right here, symmetrical here, and then crisscrossed there. And they call it the Alpine Butterfly because it kind of looks like this little butterfly pattern. All right, let me show you the hand method for tying the Alpine Butterfly Loop. You wrap the rope three times around your hand. You reach under, grab the middle strand, pull it out a little bit, pull it over the other two strands, under and out, forming a loop. And that's it. Grab the two tag ends, pull them tight, and then simply dress the knot so that you get that symmetrical butterfly pattern that you're looking for. It's as simple as that. This is a great method when your fingers are cold, when you're in a hurry. I think this is the simplest method. The second hand method has you pulling the rope across your palm and forming a loop on your fingertips and an X on your palm. You take the loop on your fingertips, you pull it down and out, then tuck it under the X and pull it up and out, forming your loop. You pull the tag ends and dress your knot. The biggest advantage of this method is it's very similar to how you tie the Alpine Butterfly Bend. When it comes time to undo the Alpine Butterfly Loop, it's really easy to undo, no matter how tight the knot's been. Simply take the tag ends like this, push the loops around, and then pop. The Alpine Butterfly Loop is great for making pulley systems, for making mechanical advantages, and for making loops that you can get back without having to climb up a tree. All right, let me show you one of the great uses for the Alpine Butterfly Loop. It's great when you want to attach your rope to something and then not have to go back to retrieve it. So let's say you attach your rope up to a limb on the top of a tree. You don't have to climb up the tree to get your rope back. So let me show you how to do it. So once I've made my Alpine Butterfly Loop, I take the tag end of the rope, throw it around whatever I want to secure, feed it back through the loop, and then pull it. There we go, nice and solid. And whenever I want my rope back, I grab the working end, and out it comes. Ah. So I attach one end of the line to what I want to pull, one end of the line to an anchor, I put in an Alpine butterfly loop, feed the tag end through, and now we've got a two to one mechanical advantage. The Alpine butterfly loop is really good for making points to attach carabiners or for creating handholds and ropes. All right, let me show you the Alpine butterfly bend. 
It's almost exactly the same knot, but instead it's used to attach two different ropes together in a way that you can get apart. And if you look at the knot, it looks just like the alpine butterfly loop. When it's all dressed up, it looks the same. So let me show you how to tie it. Okay, now let me show you the alpine butterfly bend. This looks a lot more complicated than it really is. It is just two interlocking overhand knots. Take the first red rope, store it in your fingers, and take the blue rope around your hand, back under your palm, and under the red rope, forming an overhand knot. Then get yourself some slack to work with and tie another overhand knot, only this one just goes underneath the red rope and doesn't go underneath the blue rope. Then you grab both tag ends and both of the working ends, pull it tight, dress the knot, and once dressed, the knot is exactly the same as the Alpine butterfly loop, only you've attached two ropes. And the advantage of this knot is it's very easy to get undone. All right, let me show you how to get this knot apart. Pinch these sides together, push it down, and out comes the knot. Even when it's super tight, you can get it undone. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video and learned something new. If you'd like to learn some more great knots from the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, don't forget to check out our other video, Eight Knots That You Need To Know. I'll put a link in the description. And don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching.